Today I wanted to show three options for embedding a PDF into the Wix uh, website editor. So this is the classic Wix editor that I'm using. Um, there's three options or three ways you can display PDFs. Know that PDFs are not native to web pages, so you have to kind of use them in different ways. The first way I like to use it, if I, especially if I just have a one-page PDF and I just want to display that like a flyer on a page, I will convert it to, to a JPEG and then embed it on the page, either in a gallery uh, such as here. Now this is a multi-page document, but I put it, made them all into JPEGs and then I embedded them into a Wix gallery. The nice thing about this is the images can be indexed by Google. You can optimize them, give them titles and so forth, and you have control over uh, different formats for your um, uh, gallery if you wanted to use a gallery. This is nice because the, it's native to the website. You can also just embed a picture onto a page, so this is a good option. Um, another, the next option is just linking to the PDF. So in this case, this button, if I click on this, will open up a PDF in a new window, and it uses the browser basically to view that PDF. This also works great. So I have, I like to have multiple options for people so they can use whatever they want. The nice thing about downloading it is when they, this is open, they can actually download the file if they want to save it for later or print it if needed. Um, so I just have two a high res and a, a web resolution versions of this for people to download it if they want. The last option is a PDF viewer. This is a native Wix app that you can install on your Wix site, and then you can choose a PDF and embed it on the page. So let me go to the editor and I'll show you these three options. So the first one is the image option where I converted my PDF pages into images and then I put them into a Wix Pro gallery. Nice thing about this is you do have other options for layout. Um, I chose the slideshow. You can even customize this further, but there are also other options where you could show all the pictures at once and where it kind of scrolls down the page. Um, you can do grids and choose how many rows across you want. Uh, in this case, this one has a slideshow. I can choose whether the gallery ratio is fixed or how the thumbnails are sized. Um, I like fitting if you're doing a PDF document because it could crop things off otherwise. Uh, and then you can also choose some of these other options here. Uh, you can also adjust the expand mode by going into settings and clicking here. This is what shows up when the user um, opens it up to view it full screen. Um, so this is nice. You can change the background color here. You can change you know, what displays. You can choose uh, different font sizes and so forth. Um, so basically, pretty much anything you want to do, you can customize here. I like to put them below the images the titles and so forth, and I like to center them, and so you have all these options here. The next one, as I mentioned, is a PDF of um, where you're linking to the PDF. You just want to click on this link here. You can make a button, and then you can choose. You want to choose document here, and then you're going to come here to choose file, and then you can upload your PDF, or if it already has been uploaded, you can scroll and find it and link to it. You can see the PDFs are are indicated as PDF documents versus images, so you can't really see what's on them. It's important to name your PDFs for that reason so you know what's what. You can also link uh, text to a PDF, so if I were to link this PDF here to it, I could highlight it, and then in my text settings box, I click on that link again, and then I can choose document, and then choose my PDF. I'm not going to do that in this case. I'll close out of that. The last option is the PDF Viewer. This is an app that is uh, built into Wix. Uh, well, it's, you have to add it, but it's part of the Wix world. It doesn't cost anything. Um, and you can find that here under Add Apps. And then you want to search for PDF Viewer. And spell it right. <laughs> then you want to select the one that uh, says by Wix. Um, this, it's blue here, it just says, it doesn't have any branding really associated with it. When you click on it, you'll see by Wix, and it is free. So I've already installed this, and that's what I'm using here. 
this is nice too because it allows the users to pan through things so I'll just show you kind of like the way I have it set up right now it's just a slideshow it has a navigation bar at the bottom um, there are also other settings that you can choose so you can do uh, in line which means that the user can scroll through so they would scroll down through those options so previewing this rather than having a little clicker to click slide by slide they would just scroll through the slides this is kind of nice on phones I think because people are used to scrolling but I also don't like it because if you're halfway through it's it looks messy it's harder I think it's harder visually to see so I like the the slideshow option there also is the option where they can pan through them this way but if they scroll sometimes it can and it can look a little junky with the pages up against each other like this um, but that is another option and then there's also full screen. You can also adjust the, the width of it um, and the height of it. So play around with it to make it work for your document. Um, I might make this one a little bit taller. And then I'm actually going to change it back to the size container because I like it better. I don't necessarily like the scroll. Although in phones, um, and what's nice about this app is that on phones, you can actually change the settings there as well. So you might want to change it to the scrolling inline version on phones so they can just scroll through them easily if desired. Um, and let me click on this. Sometimes it doesn't show up right away when I'm on these videos it seems, but you can come in here and go to settings and choose different. Oh, actually, no, you can't change. So you'd have to set it up on the desktop for either one. Um, but I think I'm going to leave mine on the slides because I just think they work a little bit better. So those are your three options for embedding PDFs. Just know that you can't put a PDF directly on a website, um, but you can convert it to an image, or you can link to it from a button or text, or you can add the PDF viewer app in Wix, and then you could display it this way. So three different great options. Um, and like I said, I like to give people multiple options. It's nice to have the ability to download the file if they want. Um, and then also I like the image option because I can optimize these and these go kind of into that Google realm, the Google images world, and kind of helps with your SEO. Um, so do PDFs, but not to as much of a degree as images. Uh, so happy Wixing. Um, I hope this helps explain how you can use PDFs on your Wix website. And one last thing to note, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but you can use Photoshop or any um, image editor to convert PDFs to JPEGs, or you can use an online uh, tool like this one. This is just smallpdf.com, and you can choose a PDF and then export it as a JPEG and save that to use. So if you don't have Photoshop or an image editor, so free tools like this that are online work just as well. So happy Wixing. Let me know if you have any questions or have any Wix design needs.